Bentonville, Arkansas, located in the middle south of the United States in the northwest corner of the natural state of Arkansas. Bentonville started with humble beginnings in the mid 1800s, originally being a major hub in the state for exporting apples, and now the hustling, bustling little big city that you see today with a population of just over 60,000 people and growing. What's going on, my friends? Welcome back to the channel. We're here at the Bentonville Square again, and today you're gonna come away with a comprehensive tour of Bentonville, Arkansas. We're gonna get up close and personal for some of the features that Bentonville offers, talking about schools, the museums, and everything in between. I hope you enjoy what you're about to see. Before we head around town, thought I should give you a little bit more about Bentonville history. When Arkansas gained its statehood in 1836, it was almost 40 years later before Bentonville was incorporated as a town. So what you're about to see is just under 200 years of development. And after gaining its statehood, Benton County became the first county in Arkansas. And behind me is the Benton County Courthouse, the original one, and it's still used today. We're here at the Bentonville Community Center, located just south of downtown. What an awesome facility for local residents and people here in the area. The Bentonville Community Center offers pickleball, tennis courts, a leisure pool, lap pool. There's multiple classes that you could take to improve your fitness. And if you've got library books to return, you can return them here as opposed to going downtown to the Bentonville Library. One of the coolest six through 12 grade schools is right behind me. This is Thaden School. Bentonville in itself has award-winning schools. Bentonville has two high schools, four junior highs, five middle schools, and 13 elementary schools. Besides Thaden here, we also have Haas Hall and Founders Academy. In addition to the award-winning schools, Bentonville also offers a community college called Northwest Arkansas Community College, which has over 75 degrees and certificates to choose from. Next on our tour brings us to Bentonville Municipal Airport, also known as Thaden Field. Many locals keep their prop planes, their jet planes. You may see corporate jets flying. You may see individuals flying out on a Saturday. A great spot to hang out would be at Bentonville Brewing Company and watch the planes take off and land over Thaden Field as well as Osage Park. The Flying Club here offers a way for you to go up in the air and check out Bentonville from the air. Stay tuned to the channel. Maybe we'll offer a flight of Bentonville from the air someday. Bentonville offers all sorts of housing from apartment complexes, duplexes, single family homes outside of town, as well as downtown. Some of the most beautiful houses you may have ever seen. Arkansas being the natural state, we wanna be outside. Bentonville offers 22 parks. Actually, there's 23. Creekside Park is literally being finished right now. Bentonville offers dog parks, bike parks, splash pads, parks with tennis courts, basketball courts, open green spaces. All sorts of parks are offered here in Bentonville. If you don't know already, something that Bentonville offers, there are two major mountain biking trail systems. Here where we're standing is at the beginning of All-American Trail, just north of the Bentonville Square, which takes you into Slaughter Pen and into Crystal Bridge. Slaughter Pen is available for all different styles of riders. You have blue trails, green trails. You've got bikes whizzing behind you right now. There goes another bike. Um, you have flow trails and gravity trails. They're a ton of fun. The castle is one of the features that you can see from Highway 49 as you're driving by. Our second trail system is Kohler Mountain Bike Preserve, which also has an extreme wide variety of trails in a very compact area and has an airship coffee right in the middle. Grab a brew, kombucha, or even some of their brisket nachos, which I hear are pretty good. Through Bentonville is the Razorback Greenway, which stretches from Bella Vista all the way to South Fayetteville at Mount Kessler. In connection with the Razorback Greenway are city trails, 
mountain biking trailheads, all different sorts of places that you can jump onto the trail and go all the way up to Bella Vista, all the way down to Fayetteville on your bicycle, one wheel walk, stroll or roll, you can go all the way through the whole entire way. Bentonville offers two nine hole golf courses. The Lynx at Rainbow Curve is where we are today, and also the Lynx at Bentonville on the other side of town. One of Bentonville's most recognizable stores is right behind me. Walton's Five and Dime was opened in 1950 by Sam Walton. I can only imagine what Sam would be thinking if he saw the city today of what it's turned into. Now we have coffee shops, bike shops, craft stores, and movie theater just down the street. Anything that you could possibly think of, if it's not here in Bentonville, it's pretty close by. Walton's Five and Dime is currently being renovated. The museum is over at Ledger just down the street. Besides becoming very well known for its mountain biking scene, Bentonville is also very rich in art and culture. One of the most popular museums you may have heard of is called Crystal Bridges, but that's not what is behind me. What is behind me is the Momentary Museum, one of our seven other museums here in Bentonville. The Walmart Museum, the 21C Museum and Hotel, the Museum of Native American History, the Scott Family A Museum. Next on our list is the Momentary Museum, the Peel Museum and Botanical Garden, the Bentonville History Museum, last but certainly not least, Crystal Bridges Museum. And just over my shoulder is Momentary Green, where nationally acclaimed artists as well as local artists perform here on stage. Something you probably already know about the area is Bentonville is home to the world's largest retailer, Walmart. We're here at their original home office just on North Walton Boulevard. And we're gonna head over to see the new campus that's developing and driving growth and people moving here from out of the area. Walmart is trying to help enrich the lives of those in which they are employed there, as well as the community. As you can see behind me, this is where the location of the new Walmart home office is going to be. The plans are to have parks and trails and interconnectedness to the Razorback Greenway that we talked about earlier, to the bike trails, to neighborhood connecting trails. So people that live and work here locally have the ability to access the home office, but also be able to go out to restaurants and shops and go all over Northwest Arkansas. Thanks for following me all over town. Now you know a little bit more of what life is like in Bentonville.